Okay, so I wanted to do a video to point out the absolutely exquisite nature of this piece. It is, uh, it's just incredible. So here is, first of all, this is completely hand carved and I'll show you the evidence as to why that is. Now I, I'm pointing this out as an artist, there are certain things that you can um, recognize in the quality of carving a piece. And uh, I'll show you one of the things right here. Now of course when, when you mold a piece you can have details like this in the resin and such um, for casting and, and there's fake wood and things like that. But I'll show you why this is not the case with this piece. Let me pull it back a little further. Okay, so one of the things here that you'll see, this is a very old piece, and you can tell one of the things, well you can't see this through video, but is the smell of the age of the wood. Um, actually, I'll show you the strings right here. This is a shield, a Native American shield, and you can see by the age and patina on the feathers right here and the texture that these are very old also the the knots and the consistency of the piece that it's absorbed some film over time now the shield I, I was not able to research the exact uh, tribe that this is from. Each tribe did have their own shield, their own patterns and coloring, and the the pattern and coloring matches the spear, the painting on the spear right here. You can see. Now this spear right here, this is a piece that has been modified. The spear, the tip right here, was um, this was added by a craftsman who is top in his field. Absolutely amazing. He does uh, arrowhead work. This, this piece right here was made, it's called opal, oh, get back there. It's called opal wood. It's hard to tell right here, but you can see that there are some there's wood patterning in here it's very very old wood that's a rare stone in itself so this spear in itself is um, is very valuable is a very valuable piece now the the piece is there are three sections that it was carved in you can see the feathers right there and and I was gonna say one of the ways that you can tell that this is all um, hand carved is the this undercut right here with the braids there are undercuts right there and then this seam is where there's a, this head was attached separately and if you look at all of the proportions the arm the chest there are subtleties that make a huge difference in quality for example this piece right here this was all carved and attached separately or I'm, I'm sorry this is all one piece and it was carved beforehand you can tell because this is all one piece carved into the belt there are tiny little details like the the Audi belly button here right there the the draping, I don't know if you can get this in the right light, the draping not only is carved in detail on the outside, but the undercuts and the folds way behind here also have details to them. If you look at the hands, the hands have subtleties about them, uh, little fingers, details on the fingers, and again, very accurately proportioned. Even behind the shield here you can see that the hand that's holding it is perfectly carved. This is a labor of love with incredible 
incredible craftsmanship. Just things like the wrinkles behind the knees, behind the backside on the pants. You can see the cuts on the pants, on the legs of the pants. You have the the boots right here. Now this is the stand itself is a separate piece. It's mounted and it's one of three pieces. This is the base of the wood. The piece is not signed which to me is a uh, is more um, gives more evidence that this was a a local tribesman of craftsmen of 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 wood that did this as a uh, a pure a pure act of love for his craft and and love for his people and certain qualities like for example the the detailing again behind is this it's not a it's not a front facade piece they took a lot of time and energy to make sure that this was done right. This is high, high quality. This is, you can see all the tiny, tiny lines in the feathering of the piece. Bring the light over here. The accurate details, the, the carving around the eyes. And again, you know, if you... It's not if you've sculpted or you've attempted to sculpt a face and hands and um, you don't always recognize until something is off proportion, but when it's on, you can see that it's on. And this just, it's, it's an absolutely incredible piece. Let me pull back here, get the lighting just right. This is a beautiful Native American warrior piece that would make an astounding addition to anyone's collection. Thank you so much for looking.